Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the time reversal property of the DFT. So we are looking at the time reversal of a uh, finite duration sequence. So given it is if x of n has a DFT defined as x of k, then x of minus n mod n, that is the DFT of time reverse sequence x of minus n mod n is equal to x of a capital N minus n and it has a Fourier transform defined by or the DFT defined as x of minus k mod n which is in turn equal to x of n minus k. So that is the theorem that is when we have time reversal uh, that is for the sequence itself if the order is reversed uh, then it has a Fourier transform or the DFT defined by x of minus k mod n or x of n minus k. So first let us look at the proof. You have to find the DFT of x of n minus n. That is a DFT of x of n minus n, which is by definition equal to summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 DFT of x of n minus 1. So it is x of capital N minus n into e power minus j 2 pi n k by capital N. So that is the definition of DFT. Now this is x of n minus n. So let us call n minus n the new variable small l so we have summation and then small n is equal to 0 means l is equal to capital n and when n is equal to capital n minus 1 l is equal to 1 so l has the limits from 1 to n x of l and then we have e power minus j 2 pi and n is replaced by capital n minus l into k divided by n now that is a new uh, definition now our goal is to rewrite the indices that is the limits of the summation. So since it is L equal to 1 to n, what we will argue is that value at L is equal to n, that is at L equal to n we have x of n and also we have e power minus j 2 pi into capital N minus capital N into k by n. So when L is equal to 0. Uh, we will have x of 0 and then e power minus j 2 pi into 0 into k by capital N. So we argue that uh, these two terms are equivalent because the sequence x of n has a indices from n equal to 0 to n minus 1. So when n becomes capital N that is when n is actually equal to capital N it is equivalent to n equal to 0. We can easily uh, visualize this as a follows that is assume that these numbers are stored on a circle or arranged in a circle so x of 0 x of 1 and so on and then the uh, last term will be x of n minus 1 so if you are talking about x of n you are basically moving uh, restarting the circle or restarting the sequence so it will be again x of 0 so therefore x of capital n is indeed equal to x of 0 so therefore we can change the summation back to L is equal to 0 to n minus 1. So for L equal to 1 to n minus 1, the sequence is same. But for L equal to 0, uh, we replace it. Uh, we replace the term L equal to n2 with L equal to 0. So we have x of L and then exponential of minus j 2 pi n minus L into k by capital N. And since e power minus j 2 pi n capital N by n, that term is equal to 1. We can simplify this one as summation l is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of l e power minus of j 2 pi and then l into minus k divided by n. Therefore, if you look at this definition, you can either call it x of, uh, so this summation, summation l is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of l exponential of minus j 2 pi and then minus k into l divided by n. This can be either defined as x of minus k mod n. It is also equal to x of k conjugate because we can just write this definition as uh, x of k conjugate because we just uh, uh, this is like a conjugate of this exponential. So it is indeed equal to x of k conjugate. And recall that from properties of this DFT x of n minus k is indeed equal to x of minus k mod n and it is also in turn equal to x of k conjugate. So that means it proves the theorem that is 
when x of n has a for dft x of k then the dft of x of minus n mod n or uh, dft of x of n minus n uh, is x of minus k mod n and x of n minus k and also note that x of capital n minus n also note that x of minus n mod n is indeed equal to x of n minus n because minus n mod n is actually equal to n minus n Pro we have, to summarize we have looked at the time reversal property of the dft that is time reversal of a sequence x of n which has a dft x of k is defined by x of minus n mod n which is equal to x of n minus n as the dft x of minus k mod n or equal to x of n minus k that is dft of x of n minus n uh, is uh, by using the definition we have this expression and then we replace n minus n with uh, l so that we have the definition in terms of x of l and then for the term l equal to n we can replace it with l equal to 0 because they are actually equivalent um, we can easily verify that by putting all the numbers on a circle all the sequence in this x of n on a circle and we can verify that x of n is x of 0 and then the summation becomes l equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of l e power minus j 2 pi n minus l k by capital n and then by ignoring the term n we can clearly see that because e power minus j 2 pi into capital n by capital n becomes 1 so we are left with summation l equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of l e power minus j 2 pi l into minus k divided by n so this definition is nothing but either x of k conjugate or x of minus k mod n so recall that x of n minus k is equivalent to x of minus k mod n is equivalent to x of k conjugate also in the time domain x of minus n mod n is same as x of n minus n because minus n mod n is same as n minus n thus we have verified the time reversal property of dft thanks for watching